A local teacher is being recognized for what he's doing in the classroom. Your Green Bay neighborhood reporter Tyler Job shows us how he's standing out from the rest. How are we doing? Good. Yeah. Every teacher has well something through. unique about them. You know, be a little serious. All right, so this is what you're going to do today. Be a little funny. Unplug your ears. Jeez, the news is here. What's wrong with you? Gosh. Right. <laughs> but for Southwest High School social studies teacher Jason Krings. And people nicknamed it the Scopes Monkey Trial, right? He says it's about telling stories in history. We always try to bring a connection to the present. From the start of class. Lewis, you brought up the point yesterday. To the end. Who are fundamentalists and who are modernists in the 20s? Krings keeps his students engaged in the discussion. We spend so much time reading and going through documents, but getting them into groups. And group four will be Gwyn, Keelan, Lewis, and Michael. Getting them the little activities. All right, cool. Get to work. Asking lots of questions, showing video clips and songs, and injecting humor seems to make it come alive a little bit more, I think. His students... He's a very good teacher. ...say he is very supportive of them, too. He really was the first teacher I ever had that I say I'm very close to. I never have to worry that I am going to struggle because I know that he has my back. A nonprofit recently awarded Krings for Outstanding American History Teacher. So how is that changing from World War One? The school says he was chosen for his teaching excellence. Really humbling, really proud, um, but it's a testament to the kids. Krings even has his students recite the presidents in order. Here we go, George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe. Last night we were at this academic team competition with seniors and juniors and they're all reciting the presidents. And that proves to Krings that his students do learn from him. They're good people to be surrounded with every day. Krings says he'll be recognized for his award at a conference in Green Bay in May. He says he has also been entered as a national finalist and we'll find out about that in the summer. At Southwest High School, Tyler Job, NBC 26.